Hello guys, my name is Ilya Marchenko and welcome to my channel. US Open and Cincinnati Masters are finished, or New York Masters, or Bubble Masters. Not sure what to call it now. What? Aha, uh -huh, I have a hint from my producers. Thank you. Western and Southern Open. Congrats to the winners of those two events. Not sure I can congratulate Djokovic for that one. It was a roller coaster for him, with a very good start and very unexpected finish. Default, Mr. Djokovic. Unfortunately, I was not able to compete there because of my ranking right now and because qualification for the US Open was cancelled this year. So I was not able to repeat my result from 2016. Successful result. <laughs> <laughs> By my standards, of course. If you have no idea, I made it to round 16 and lost to the winner of that year, Stan Wawrinka. So I was a vice champion of US Open in 2016. Wait, what did you just say? Yeah, I've lost it only to the champion, same as Djokovic. And I don't care what you think about that statement. I don't care. Anyway, even without me, surprisingly, this year's US Open swing was pretty interesting. First big tennis event since all this corona crisis has started. First Grand Slam title for Dominic team. First tournament in a bubble. Ouch. And a lot of disqualifications. Mladenovic, Babos, Peja, Delian, and of course, Djokovic. What? Another hint? Novak is a witch? No? I don't understand. Oh, Djokovic, Djokovic, my fault. So sorry, Novaks. I am pretty bad with remembering names. We are all wise after the event. So am I. And today, based on what we've seen the last couple of weeks, I am going to give you my tips on how to not get disqualified from US tennis events in 2020. I haven't been disqualified from any of those, so I can call myself an expert now. And I will be very happy to share my knowledge with you, free of charge. But this would not be possible without my partners. And partner of today's video is Top Tennis Training. Top Tennis Training is the biggest tennis coaching platform and YouTube channel in the world, with over 500,000 followers across social media and 50,000 registered students on their website worldwide. Use my affiliate link below to check it out. So let's start with my first tip. Don't be positive. No smiles or jokes or anything like that. Benoit Appert, for example, he's not even that positive on court. Violation racket of you, warning what? Mr. Pen. Why? It was broken. It was broken already. It was Point broken. Penalty. It was broken. 15 love. It was broken. Because of the fucking. What? I can say what I want. We can't play like this. We can't. We can't play. Yeah, I can do what I want. I give you money and that's okay. But off court, he is a very nice guy and it was enough for the US Open to disqualify him. Huh? What again? He was disqualified not for being positive, but for tested positive on COVID-19. You've tested positive. Does it have to do anything with him being a positive guy? No? Doesn't work that way? Okay. So I guess you better not be positive in any way just to be sure. And as we see from another example, you better not even hang out with positive people. Tested positive. My advice is just stay away from people in general. You, you stay away from me, hear me? Because if you don't, and your friend gets tested positive, you might get locked down in your room, tested a gazillion times more, and even after all your tests are negative, you can still end up being disqualified. I don't know what to tell you. Let's move to the second tip. And it's going to be, leave your coach at home. If you don't trust me, ask Guido Peya and Hugo Delian about this one. 
If you bring your coach with you, your chances to be kicked out from the tournament are two times higher. So think twice, is he really that good and worth the risk? I doubt it. Tip number three, don't play doubles. And it's not because I'm a singles player myself and angry that they have cancelled US Open qualies but not doubles event. And not because I don't respect doubles at all, like some others. I just don't understand all those doubles competition you're around. I understand the ring grand slams and the Olympics because they're part of tennis history and everything. I'm 33, so my doubles career might be waiting for me in the very near future. I have a couple challenger titles in doubles already, you know. But if you follow the same logic as in my previous tip, you are just increasing your chances to get disqualified. And if you and your partner both win your coaches, your risk is going to be around uh, mm, one eternity later. Math was never my thing, so you better calculate it yourself. But just imagine, you are doing everything right, not positive, left your coach at home, staying away from people, your partner has got 11 negative tests, and you get disqualified just because she has been seen hanging out with some positive folks. We are officially disqualified. Too much risk, too much risk, don't play doubles. Fourth tip, I thought it was obvious and not worth mentioning, but looking back to these last weeks, I have to remind you, do not hit a line empire with a ball. Discarded ball belted behind the baseline, and it was as if Novak Djokovic could see the US Open being wrenched from his grasp. <gasps> That's it. Oh no. Even if it looks good on camera, Even if you are number one in the world. No, man, I get it, I get it too, I get it too. Then... And especially when you've just created an organization ATP is not very happy about. Uh, this is not against ATP, WTA, ITF or any governing body. I don't, uh, we are not looking to get into the uh, legal disputes or uh, substitute ATP or anything like that. In any case, you should not do it. You will be disqualified. It's definitely not the best way to use someone's throat. <laughs> you could get away with hitting a strong cameraman. So I knew anything. Oh, it's nice. But never with a line empire. No chance. And we are coming to my fifth tip. And this is the safest option. Players like Stachowski, best ranking is 31. Dustin Brown, best ranking 64. Gulbis, best ranking is 10. Martin Klijan, best ranking is 24, Troitsky, best ranking is 12, and myself, we have successfully tested and used it this year. It is very simple and very easy to use. All you had to do is to perform bad enough last season, for whatever reason, so your ranking is low and you simply can't get in to those tournaments. And if you are not in, nobody can disqualify you. In case you are not very good in advanced planning, and unfortunately got into the main draw. What were you thinking? But you were still afraid to be disqualified. This year you had a perfect excuse for not coming. Coronavirus. Top players like Rafa, Barty, Monfils, Svitolina and Stan Wawrinka all have used this one. But if you don't want to be that boring and simple, you can get injured or even get infected yourself. Although, in my opinion, it's a bit extreme. Anyhow, there is always a way to stay home. And perhaps you could entertain yourself during this period, crushing everyone from Twitter. You were at the club oh, last night. yes, I know. <laughs> 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 okay. Some of you are probably angry with me using someone's drama to make fun of it. But I believe that humor is actually the best cure during hard times. I feel very sorry for all those guys affected. It's just really bad luck. And probably only Novak can blame himself for what happened. Others couldn't do a thing. I can't imagine what you guys feel right now. Crazy times. I wish you all to stay strong and good luck for your future tournaments. Unless you're gonna play against me. Well, that's it for today. Like if you enjoyed my comedy, subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. No, I don't understand. No, I don't understand. No, no, I don't understand. No, 
I don't understand. No? I don't understand.